Here is a practice quiz on polynomial equations. Use finite differences to determine the equation for the polynomial corresponding to the given table of values. So we are given x and y values here and we need to find a polynomial equation. Now finite difference, finite difference is y2 minus y1 when x's are given in a particular order. It's good to have them increasing by 1 as it is shown here. Now let's do y2 minus y1 and figure out which finite difference is constant. So if I do, so that is what we have to do. We have to do 0 minus minus 4, 6 minus 0, 8 minus 6, 0 minus 8, and minus 24 minus 0. So if I do minus 4 minus 0, I get minus 4. 0 minus 4 gives me plus 4. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2, 0 minus 8 is minus 8, minus 24, take away 0 is minus 24, right? Now definitely this finite difference is not constant, right? So, so what we got is the first difference, let me write this as first difference, which is not constant. So let's figure out what is the second difference. So we'll do 4 minus of minus 4, right? So if I do 4 minus minus 4, I get plus 8. 6 minus 4 gives me 2. 2 minus 6 gives me minus 4. Minus 8 minus 2 will give me minus 10. Minus 24 minus of minus, that means plus 8, gives me minus 16, right? So that is the second difference which we have got and that is also not constant, right? So that is the second finite difference, so which is also not constant. So let's find out the third finite difference, and the third will be like this, right? Okay, so it's good to make these arrows, okay? And now let's do 2 minus 8, which is minus 6, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6, minus 10 minus of minus 4 is also minus 6, minus 16 minus of minus 10 is minus 6. So what we get really is a constant finite difference, which is a third finite difference, correct? Now since the third finite difference is constant, we know we'll, we, we are expecting a cubic function, right? So we can write the function as f of x equals to a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d. So that is our function. Now how to find the values of a, b, c and d? There are four unknowns so we may need four points to solve this equation. Now there's another way the leading coefficient is actually related with the finite difference. Since the finite third finite difference is minus 6 we can find a directly. So a is actually equals to the finite difference, the third finite difference divided by 3 factorial, right? In general the formula is nth finite difference divided by n factorial. Now the third finite difference is minus 6 and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6. So we get minus 1 as the value of a. So a is minus 1 for us. Well, those of you who do not know this formula or do not want to apply this formula, they can always take four points and solve, correct? Now, so we know a for the time being, which is minus 1. To find b, c and d, let us take three points. Good points to take are 0, plus 1 and minus 1 for x values, correct? So these are the points which we will take. So first, let me write down a as minus 1. So we have f of x as equals to minus of x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. So that becomes our function. We know the value of a is minus 1. We got it from the third finite constant difference. Now if I put 0 here, that is f of 0, right? f of 0 means x will be 0, right? So all these values are going to be 0, so I'm left with d. I get f of 0 is equal to d. But we know f of 0 is 6, 
So therefore, d equals to 6, right? So we get another of our coefficients or constants, that is d, which is 6, right? Now, so d is known to us as 6. Now we can place the value of d here and find b and c. To find b and c, we can use f of minus 1 and f of 1. We have f of minus 1 equals to, I'm going to replace in this equation x as minus 1. So if I write x as minus 1, minus 1 cube, let me write first as minus 1 cube, plus b times minus 1 square, and c times minus 1, and d is 6 for us. Let me write 6. Right. <clears throat> this is minus 1 cube is negative. Negative and negative becomes plus. So we get 1 here. And minus 1 is positive square b minus c plus 6. And that is equals to now f of minus 1 is known to us as 0, right? So we have 0 here, right? So 0 is equals to b minus c and 1 plus 6 is 7. Correct. So this is next equation. Now we can write what is f of 1 equals to. f of 1 is 8. We'll replace all these x's with 1. So we get minus 1 plus b plus c. d is 6 for us, right? Plus 6. And this should be equal to f of 1 is 8. This should be equal to 8, right? So we are left with this equation, which we can simplify and write down this equation as b plus c. So, so let me write down this equation as uh, <coughs> b plus c and equals to, so, so minus 1 plus 6 is 5 and when we take 5 on the other side it becomes 3 right so let me write 3 equals to b plus c okay so what we did was instead of f of 1 we wrote 8 the 8 we added 1 which is 9 and take away 6 makes it 3 so 3 is equals to b plus c and uh, let me number these equations so that it becomes simpler for us to simplify from here let's say this equation is a for us right now from this equation, we have b minus c is equals to minus 7, right? And let me say this equation is, let me number them as 1 and 2, okay? So these are numbered as 1 and 2. So we have 3 equals to b plus c. And this equation, we can write b minus c. b minus c is equals to minus 7. Let me write this as minus 7, correct? Now, from here we can find both b and c, right? So if I add these equations, so let me add them and subtract to find b and c, okay? So if I add them, I get 2b equals to 4, right? So I get 2b equals to, when I add them, minus 4, or b equals to minus 4 divided by 2, which is 2. If I subtract them, then I get b and b cancel out. c minus of minus becomes 2c, right? So I get 2c equals to 3 minus minus 7, which is 10, or c is equals to 10 divided by 2, which is 5, right? So that is how I get the values of b and c. So this part I'm getting when I'm doing equation 1 minus equation 2, but if I do equation 1 plus equation 2, I get the value of B and C. That is how we get the value of B and C, right? Now, since we have these values, we can now substitute them back into our equation and when, then we get our function, right? So our function, that is the answer is f of x is equal to a is minus 1, which is, so we get minus x cube. B is 2 for us, rather, minus 2, I'm sorry. So when you add them, you get minus 4. Minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So we get minus 2 for b. So it is minus 2x squared. And the value of c is 5 plus 5x. Value of d, which we calculated, was 6 plus 6. So that is the solution, right? So let me highlight the calculations which we have done. So to start with, 
find the finite difference we found that the third finite difference was constant therefore it's a cubic equation in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d from finite difference we can find directly the value of a a is constant finite difference divided by 3 factorial since the third was constant right so we get minus 1 as the value of a so that is our first parameter so the coefficient of x cube is minus 1 substitute minus 1 in your equation take other points we took 0 so f of 0 is 6 so that means d is 6 so we got the second which is d is 6 substitute d as 6 take another point which we took as minus 1 f of minus 1 is 0 so 0 equals to all this that gives us an equation in b minus c right b minus c as equals to minus 7 so that is what we are calling equation 1 substitute 1 f of 1 is is 8 8 and when you substitute 1 you get b plus c equals to 3 so that is our equation 2 so we got two equations with two unknowns solve them for finding value of b and c once you have found place the values and get your answer so that is how we are going to solve such equations thank you and all the best